grew up in Northwest Kansas. Um, helped some on our family farm growing up. I met my wife and um, from there, you know, she kind of helped me decide I wanted to come back and farm. And now in our free time, we take care of our two kids and look after the farm and all the animals that we've got. Not on the one year anniversary, um, we were just out working in the yard and I had my hand in the wrong place at the wrong time, working on a piece of machinery. And so from there, we went to a local hospital and we were flown to KU Med in Kansas City. And we ended up having the final amputation on December 20th. It was more of a mental recovery than so much as a physical one. Um, I think it was easier to kind of figure out what I was able to do physically than kind of adjust to it mentally. Got a body powered prosthetic. I have nothing against people who like body powered um, prosthetics. I think they're great. Um, but for me, I never took the time to learn how to use it. I wasn't comfortable with it. Um, I felt very lethargic in it. And so I just kind of used it more as a paperweight. With something like the Hero Arm, I'm always a little more cautious of it, kind of slowly eased into it. But I've used it for stuff like holding tools, um, holding parts in place. And I use it a lot for driving big machinery, which I know is not technically in the description of what you were supposed to use it for. Um, but I've used it for that because in the field, I'm only going about 12 miles an hour. And then just kind of general being able to carry stuff with another hand versus having to carry it up by my chest um, using my arm is also really nice. started printing them already. Um, I had one on my Instagram story that I printed. Um, I don't have the arm on right now, but I have it with me because we have a sick kid that I've been chasing around all morning. Um, but I've printed off a couple. So I really like a metallic, all the all more of the chrome or metallic colors. And so, but I got all the steel pieces to work. So I print a lot of the, more of the shiny colors because that's just kind of what I like. Requested pink when she first saw the hero arm. Love working with open bionics you feel like they're working with you not trying to make a buck or trying to chase a dollar and just send a high bill to insurance feels like they're actually after helping the person you know improve their lifestyle knowing that the journey of getting a buck getting a mile electric arm has been just completely crazy in the past dealing with any other company well i, I mean i don't think so i know that you guys are always an emailer uh, message away and so it's nice that you know if I ever had questions that it's not I'm not being shoved around to a bunch of different offices or HR departments or anything like that you know it's a pretty intertwined network and so as far as post getting the arm I think it's been awesome small town community people aren't really afraid to ask questions and so um, they definitely dive right in but I'm comfortable with it uh, I say, you know, the more questions, the merrier. You can't teach people without people asking questions. And so I've always felt like the conversations have gone very well. I thought that people have been very receptive to it. I hadn't met anyone who's, I guess, thought it was ridiculous or anything that a farmer's having a robot hand. The material compared to um, the body power prosthetic, I felt like with the body power, I was kind of slipping in it. And so I was ramming the end of my arm against the end of the body power. And so that was a huge discomfort for me. Whereas with uh, the hero arm, I'm not really slipping around at all. And so I'm not bumping the end of my arm at the end of the arm. And so I always thought that was really nice. I'm not getting that uncomfortable shock that I was getting with the body power. My preaching point with everyone is how great of a company you guys are. And all the, you know, I mean, with all the videos that you guys put out, whether it's on your Instagram page or YouTube or anything like that, I mean, you can obviously People who see those can tell that you guys are making a difference in people's lives, showing people that, you know, you're not chasing a dollar, you're actually caring about the person because you're investing in the individual person to help them share their story and not feel like they're lost in the crowd.